In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a hangman-like game. We won't be drawing the hangman, but it's a good word guess game that shows you how to use arrays. I'd like to demonstrate what it's supposed to do before we get started. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, you can find all the videos as well as the helping files and the directions and a PDF on the code at maryhelp.net. This video will just show an overview of how it should work and the steps we're going to take. Then I will have three additional videos showing how to program the game. Initially, it will put lines on the screen showing where the letters are going to go. It tells you that you have 10 chances to guess a letter, and then you can guess a letter here. I'm going to guess wrong each time. Now, it does not correct to see if I'm guessing the same letter. That's something you could choose to add but I haven't gotten that complex. This is just really to teach people how to use arrays. So with at the end of 10 guesses, it tells me that I lose. I'm going to start it again. Now I'm going to try to win. I'm going to put in a letter A. It's lowercase, but I do convert it to uppercase in the program. And it'll notice if I have a wrong letter and subtract from my guesses, but obviously I do know what the answer is because I programmed it and the array only has four things in it. So the answer should be March. And when you get it right, you win. So that's a very simple guessing game. The steps that I broke it into now this is not completely detailed, but it does have the basic steps because I did do other things like converting it into an uppercase letter. And we'll go through that in detail when we program it. I've spaced out the different areas of the different videos I'm going to create. So each part that's broken down in here is one video. So the first video will show you how to create an array to hold your potential answers. And then it'll show you how to generate a random number to pick a word from the array. Once we get that working, the second step will determine how many letters need to be guessed to win the game, set how many guesses the user is allowed, and it will display an underscore for each letter in the word to be guessed. And then it will break the string apart, the answer, and store it as an array of letters. And in the final step, we'll get a letter from the user, we'll compare it to each letter in the answer, and if the letter matches a letter in the answer, we'll replace the underscore with the letter in the display, and we'll subtract one of the numbers of letters that need to be guessed to win. Either way, if it matches or it doesn't, we'll subtract one letter from the allowed guesses, and then we'll check to see if the user has won or lost. And we'll repeat these steps until the user has won or lost. So that will be the series of steps in creating our word guess game. Thank <laughs> you.